The dairy industry in Israel is big business. The sector supplies the country's total dairy requirements far beyond its domestic needs. Inside here, you'll see all the cows come and look at the chair. A team of Ugandans recently toured Israel's popular dairy farms to learn a thing or two about modern farming techniques. Most visitors are astounded at the size of the cows and the quantity of milk produced daily. Our real cows are considered to be the best in the world. And the secret is that we have a special brand which is exactly good for the Israeli conditions. Dozens of years ago, it's a mixture of Dutch, Frisian, and Arab cows. Israel has two farming systems, the kibbutz, which are communal farms, and the moshavs, which are family cooperative settlements. The farmers here treat their cattle like royalty. This is the milking center of the Moshav Faran farm in Israel. It has about 260 milking cows and about six people who run this entire center. Everything done here is high tech, as you can see from these machines that know exactly how much milk is going to be got from each cow and the diseases that they have. There's a chip that's tied on each cow's leg to tell exactly those things. Most dairy cows in Israel are bred by artificial insemination in order to get superior offspring. This advanced farming method intrigued Noah Mwidu, one of the Ugandan farmers based in Bugodi in eastern Uganda. There is a very high level of technology in whatever they do at farm. So I call upon the government of Uganda to establish demonstration farms and do not only give su support to the youths and the people around the country by giving them planting materials or animals, but put up demonstration farms that can help the farmers get perfect knowledge of what they do. Everything almost is computerized. Uh, we have notifications of sick cows, uh, of uh, when cows have to uh, go to the doctor. We also visited a popular greenhouse that grows peppers in the Arava Desert in the southern part of Israel. Our guide allowed us to taste whatever we fancied, but one of my colleagues regretted that kind gesture after testing pepper. <laughs> Chris Sochamringa, NTV, Israel.